Our motoring tip of the week concerns the use of a torque wrench. Now you'll often see when you're at a vehicle repair facility, you will see service personnel using a click type torque wrench like this one. And you can see why it gets its name. There's a distinct audible click when you achieve the prescribed torque. You can also see that the beam jumps a little bit so you can actually feel and hear when you've achieved the proper torque. On this Toyota Venza, lug nut torque is 76 foot pounds. But a GM light truck, for example, many of them 140 foot pounds. So the spec can be very different depending what you're working on. Also, just about every other fastener on your vehicle, if you look up in a shop manual or repair manual, there is a prescribed torque for all the critical fasteners on the vehicle. And this is the proper way to do it. Now, you'll often see that when we're servicing a vehicle, we're using power tools to get the lug nuts off because it's way quicker. And it, it's much quicker to reinstall them. For example, there's 20 lug nuts on this vehicle. So if you're changing over from summer to winter tires or vice versa, you've got a lot of lug nuts to uh, remove and, and reinstall. So the gun gets it done really quickly and it's fine for taking them off, but to confirm that they're properly torqued when you're finished, the best way is the torque wrench. Now, if you're doing your tires at home, and lots of people are doing this now, they've got a set of winter and summer tires, switching them at home, you can buy a really good click type torque wrench, a Canadian tire, for a very reasonable price. It's lifetime warrantied, it's a very good way to do this job. Now, a professional mechanic is always gonna have various torque wrenches in their toolkit, smaller ones for smaller fasteners, like on the transmission pan and things like this, inch pound torque wrenches, and a proper foot pound torque wrench like this for torquing the suspension and lug nuts. Now, anytime there's new parts introduced, a new rotor, new wheel studs, lug nuts, the wheel itself, anything that's part of that clamping package that holds the wheel tight, it's important for the mechanic to road test the car for, for a number of minutes, bring it back, do a few heat, heat cycles of the brakes, bring it back and, and recheck the torque on the wheels. And you'll often see mechanics in the parking lot going out to vehicles and doing this. You'll hear it. They're, what they're doing is confirming that those wheels have not worked themselves loose. They're doing a retorque. And they'll sometimes ask you to bring the car back for a retorque shortly after it's been serviced. That's your motoring tip of the week. Hi, hi. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And if you watch this on Facebook, like, follow, and share us. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.